Taiwan currently has more than 100 foreign missions in the forms of embassies and unofficial representative offices. But the majority of these are in leased properties, which set the government back a hefty 1 billion NT in rent payments each year. In response, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is following a policy of acquiring properties to house these missions. Next year, transactions of the Los Angeles and Brisbane representative offices will be complete, which is expected to save the government over 30 million NT in rent. A ruling party legislator says these real estate acquisitions are not only good investments, they also underscore Taiwan's determination to operate long term overseas. When President Tsai Ing-wen made a transit stop in the U.S. last year, she attended a grand reception at Taiwan's New York representative office. This freestanding complex was purchased by the Taiwanese government in 2003 to the tune of 1.7 billion NT. Not only has the government saved the annual rent of 100 million NT, but the market price of the property has doubled several times over. Given this successful experience, the foreign ministry in recent years has been actively promoting a policy of purchasing properties for Taiwan's foreign missions. Properties coming into the Taiwan government's possession next year include the Los Angeles representative office which was purchased for more than 1.06 billion, with future savings in rent amounting to nearly 25 million NT annually. Another purchase is the Brisbane representative office, which was a cool 176 million NT and will lead to savings of nearly 8.5 million NT in rent annually. <laughs> Maintaining the value is definitely very important. That is to say, we need to evaluate each district or city and see if prices will appreciate or if there's a possibility of property prices moving upwards. What's most important is that we hope to demonstrate that we are setting up shop for the long term. Taiwan currently rents 116 properties and owns only 20, which make up just 17% of Taiwan's total number of foreign missions. The government budget earmarked for rent of diplomatic missions next year is at nearly 900 million NT. Representative officers or other liaison officers are usually based in each nation's capital or major cities. We encourage property purchases instead of renting because in the long term rents add up and get really expensive. Ruling party lawmakers are glad to see this development because purchasing properties that house foreign missions not only guarantees Taiwan's possession of the property, but they help retain the government's assets and ensure Taiwan's security.